Today is one of my absolute favourite places to shop. We're doing a summer River Island haul. So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. It is an all time favourite of mine. I absolutely love River Island. I'm wearing this little River Island top now. They have got such fun um, prints, patterns, designs, um, and I love checking them out. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you enjoy my content, and that just means that YouTube will show you more of me, lucky you. <laughs> um, and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite pieces are in this haul. Um, I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday as well, so you can hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload. So I've gone for color, summer, fun. Um, I just love River Island pieces. They're the pieces I tend to wear the most in my wardrobe. Uh, they're excellent quality, they wash really well. Um, elephant in the room, the prices are on the higher side of plus size clothing um, and I feel like you don't often get like discounts and stuff. I'm hoping this sale comes soon because I'll be the first one to shop that. Um, but you can get them on ASOS if there's like a 20% off day. Um, however, the range is a lot more limited and the River Island website has way more range and that is where I've shopped from today um, everything will be linked down below there are affiliate links so that just means if you choose to buy anything through them i do get a small kickback from the brand but it doesn't cost you any extra so i really appreciate the support so let's get into this haul so unfortunately this dress isn't doing me any favors i was excited to try this dress because it was giving me kind of like chic safari vibes um it is quite a straight um dress but Normally when I size up in like shirt dresses, I'm normally okay, but not today. Um, this is in a 26 and it is tight, as you can see here. Um, it does fit, but I'm not going out dressed like this. Um, also as well, with this like white and gray combo, I think it does wash me out. I think this is definitely gonna be a lot nicer on someone with like a deeper um, or like tan complexion. Compared to me, I just look like a ghost. Safari ghost. Um, it's really, really nicely made. I love the details, like the buttons are covered in the same fabric. Um, and it's quite a stiff cotton. It is like a cottony material. Um, but yeah, the sizing is not, is not it, especially in the tummy region. Um, but everywhere else just seems really big, so I don't... Like the sleeves are up here is quite large, but this area here is way, way too small. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. If you've got like a body shape like mine, um, you're gonna wanna size up at least once, if not twice, if you like this dress. Um, but for me, the colors are just not working. And obviously the sizing is not working. And um, there's no pockets, no stretch. Um, mm, not a fan. I think you can find something way, way cuter um, on the website. So, yeah. Please ignore my <laughs> cream linen trousers from uh, the H&M haul that's already up right now. I did bring jeans down to change into, but guys, it's so hot. It's so hot, I can't do it. I can't do it. Please forgive me. <laughs> but we're here to talk about this blouse. It's actually absolutely gorgeous. I love this blouse. I think it's so pretty. It's giving anthropology energy um, for like half the price. This blouse is still expensive. She's not cheap. Um, I'm waiting for like my birthday voucher to come uh, because I think I might put it towards this. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's just covered in this gorgeous green, Swirly pattern. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, I think I got this in a 26. Sorry if my voice is a bit funny. I'm still recovering from this damn cold. Um, I'm just super stuffed up still and it's just not going anywhere. I think it's just because I've just been so busy. I've just not had time to like fully recuperate, but that's, that's 
that's life. Um, I love the little buttons. I love buttons, buttons. Um, the little eyelet detail here that gives obviously a really nice shape. And you've also got lace on the sleeve. Very, very airy and billowy. Um, really nice size as well. Super generous. And also a nice length. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I think as well, if I got like na these trousers in navy, um, like imagine navy linen trousers, this would be such a nice outfit, a really cool, um, casual, but kind of chic outfit, especially if you're doing like a city break this summer. I'm off to Milan <laughs> for my birthday in July and it's going to be so hot. Um, I feel like this is like practice. I need to like get my makeup game down so I'm like not like this. Um, normally I don't put concealer on my nose in the summer but today I thought oh why not? Big mistake. Um, so um, that was the shirt up close. I didn't really show you very well did I? I was too busy talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here are the details yeah they're like sewn on really nice quality little buttons just details everywhere i feel like this would be on anthropology for like a hundred pounds if not more um nothing on the back though and that's obviously where they're kind of keeping their costs down um, but i don't mind that you know everyone does it so I actually really, really like this. And I think if River, I think River Island send you like a five pound voucher for your birthday. So I might put it towards this. So this dress I've actually already worn out to a Caesar concert. Um, I love this t-shirt dress. It is however in a 28. I think a 26 would have been perfect. It would have just been a little bit more uh, figure hugging. It's obviously very, very kind of oversized on me, but this is so comfortable. Um, they did do this in black and white, but I love the pink because you can see the detail. Um, I think black and white are great basics, but I just thought this pink was like very, very different for me. I don't wear this pink. I find it very hard to pair makeup with this pink. That's the struggle that I had yesterday, but I had so many people come up to me at the concert and telling me how much they love my dress and love the colour so that was really really nice it's always nice when you step out of your comfort zone and then people like support it um, so I feel like you only get though what you give and so if you ever see um, someone wearing an outfit that you really like like just go off and tell them because it really will make their day and you won't will only ever get compliments back in a world where you give compliments if that makes sense so I always like to like, if I see a girl and I like her outfit, I'm like, oh, you like your outfit, like your boots, whatever. So just pin that up there. But this is super, super comfy. So if there's any marks. Oh, uh oh, that's my plant. There's gonna be mud all over the floor. Oh no, I'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, super, super comfy. To be honest, if I, um, because I know this was like super low stock, so if they come on like to ASOS or they restock them, I would definitely probably pick up the, at least the black one. Um, super, super comfy, really nice thick cotton, really well made. It was a really nice price as well. I think this was like 29 pounds, which I think is pretty reasonable for a dress. Kind of around the same price that something would be at like M&S um, is what I'm thinking. Oh, gosh, I want to cover my face. <laughs> Oh, I spent so long doing my makeup this morning and it's all come off. I'm so gutted. Um, but yes, super, super cute. Love it. I also got this super cute shirt, which is actually part of a co-ord. So if you like the pattern, there's also trousers in this material. This is part of like the resort beach range. It makes me laugh because the prices of their resort, resort, <laughs> resort beach range. <laughs> Um, it's like the same price as all their other clothes. And I'm like, oh, that, that's, that's expensive. But of course, you don't need to just wear these clothes at the beach or on holiday. I just thought this was just a really nice, fun shirt. I've been really getting into like some really fun prints um, in the summer. And shirts are a great way um, to kind of layer when it's warm. You can wear a cute top underneath during the day, but then you can have a little shirt on the evening 
as it starts to cool down. Um, again, just really nice over a swimsuit. I did get this in a 26, 28 just because I wanted like the length and the oversizedness and just to be able to kind of like do what I want with it. It's very, very generous though. So I probably could have got away with the 22, 24, um, but I like the way this looks. I also think this looks really cute with this shirt dress as well. I think this is a bit of a vibe. Um, obviously, let me show you a little bit up close. So here is the print. There is literally every colour under the sun, as well as this like metallic pinstripe, which is super, super cute. We've also got the cutest little shell pearl buttons, um, which are a really nice detail. It feels really nicely made. Um, and then you do have like tie sleeves so you can loosen or tighten them. So you could have really big sleeves or you could have really tight sleeves at the moment they're kind of like mid mid tightness um but yeah it's a nice cheesecloth material obviously this dress is quite thick so having this on top is very warm um but obviously if you just paired this with something a lot lighter or bikini you won't be maybe as sweating as much as i am now um yeah i think this is really really cute i'm tempted to get the trousers just to see just to see what the whole vibe would be like. But yeah, I really like this. It's a really nice quality. Love, you know, I love color. So it's perfect for me. This is a super cute little cotton dress. This is just like perfect again for like hot days. And um, I feel like as well, this would be a really good like swimwear bikini cover up. Um, again, we have got like a bra situation what bra are we gonna wear with it but i do think like you could always wear like a bikini as a bra and like make that look like a really fun little cute vibe um i think that would be really really cute i loved the color um i just think lilac it's quite you don't see it very often um so when i saw this i was like oh unusual now i will say the bow isn't done up enough like i would need someone to help me tighten it um so bear that in mind it's a little bit loose up the top but i think if you had like a friend or family that could like help you while you're on holiday or wherever um or your partner then you can make this just right i got this in a 24 um fits really nicely they also did this i think in black and white as well but i just think the lilac so much fun and just really really different it's really really comfortable super airy you've got like cute little frilly frilly details on each layer um lots of room also like really elasticated back um but yeah with the bow you would definitely be able to hide your bra it's just not done up properly yet and the straps are also i think adjustable maybe maybe you can't quite tell um, but yeah, I think this dress is just a really nice, easy to wear summer dress. It's going to be moisture wicking. We love a moisture wicking moment, especially right now, guys. Oh, I'm struggling. This colour scheme strangely goes with these linen trousers. And now it's making me reconsider these linen trousers. <laughs> I think this actually looks really nice together. Um, so I will link these trousers from H&M. Um, if you do like them because I think with this top it actually like the whole color scheme really um, complements each other so look at me I'm like a stylist and I think if you are tan or you fake tan I think this would look really really nice um, it's just I'm so fair and guys I know I said I'm gonna do that fake tan video I don't think I have a weekend until August um, every weekend I've got plans. Oh, oh God, it's gonna be an intense, it's cause it's my birthday month. And also I'm gonna go see the lovely Trina for her birthday. It's me and JP's fifth anniversary. It's my 29th birthday. Um, so I literally have one weekend and I'm gonna get my hair done that weekend. Hopefully I'll get, get an appointment. Becky, book that appointment if you haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, so. Um, what was I even saying? <laughs> um, just incredibly busy, incredibly busy gal. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that fake tan video. This year, would you still be interested in seeing it in like August? 
I feel like that's a bit late, but let me know down below in the comments, like, would that be okay? Um, but anyway, I've not even spoke about this top yet. This is a really cute little peplum top where I wasn't like 100% sure on it when I took it out of the packet. I picked it up because I just thought the colour scheme was so different but quite trendy. Um, and it's this kind of like abstract floral print with sage greens, terracottas, dusty rose. Um, it is kind of smocked but different. It's like big smock, little smock, big smock, little smock. Um, I just really like it. I got this in a 24. You will just have to be um, conscious of this here. This is not elasticated. Uh, so if you are bigger in the tummy, it might cause issue. Um, but for me, it's currently fine. It might just be a little snug if I sat down potentially. Uh, the sleeves are like double line and super poof. Super poof sleeve. I think if you're not a fan of the linen trousers, like light blue denim, um, or black even would look really really cute with this top I just thought it was super unusual the print um, and I feel like peplum tops we all like them they're super flattering and so it's really nice to see them with like a different print different type of color um, so you have something to play with but this was really comfortable I, I think it's a cotton um, it's really really nicely made and this is why I love River Island like no one is doing prints like this or colorways like this um, so it's just so nice to to have something new and that's why I love River Island because they're always like including us in trends, um, trying things um, in the plus size range um, and taking risk. That's basically what they're doing. They do take a bit more risk in their range and I highly appreciate it. Um, they are where I get some of my, my favourite pieces in my wardrobe. Um, so the thing with River Island is if the price point kind of freaks you out a little bit, I just say, you know, you don't have to fill your wardrobe full of River Island. Just have that one piece that makes you feel good and you will wear that piece over and over again and get that cost per wear. Um, cost per wear is where you divide the price by how often you wear it. And it's like people say, you know, you could spend 30 quid on a dress in, in new look and wear it once. And the cost per wear for that is 30 quid. You can go into Burberry and buy a trench coat and wear that every day. You know, and the trench coat what, is a thousand pounds, but you wear that coat all winter and autumn for 10 years your cost per wear on that coat is probably a pound. So the Burberry jacket, that's a pound per wear, but that new look dress you spent 30 pound on, you've only worn it once, that's 30 quid. So it's all about how often you're gonna wear something. If you're gonna wear that dress forever, not forever, but you know, you can see so many occasions to wear it and it's a bit of you, it's a little piece of you, then I would say go for it. Obviously try and get stuff in the sale, use a discount code. Um, but with River Island, I wear the stuff all the time. It's always what I pick out of my wardrobe first. Um, they're some of my most complimented pieces as well. So anyway, I'm not a sponsor for River Island. I just really, really like them uh, and appreciate the range they do for us. I thought this dress was so interesting and unusual. It's this plisé gradient dress. Um, it feels very luxe. It's giving me mint velvet. I think that's why I chose it. Um, this is 45 pounds, which I know seems like quite a bit of money, but when you compare that to the cost of like a mint velvet dress that are like 200 pounds, this one really competes. Um, I'm glad that it kind of starts darker to light we have a little slit here but it's not too high and um, you could definitely belt it to give it more shape we'll just say though you might want a little slit or slip skirt underneath as there is i don't know if you can tell maybe if i do that and the light can show you where my, my legs are maybe that there is like no slip apart from up here where um my bra is which is a little bit strange um, but it's quite nice because it's so airy so again perfect for summer because you're not like drowned with fabric um but i think it's very very chic it's very unusual super comfy i got this in a 26 
glad I did because the slip for the top is quite tight. Um, if I got a 24, I don't think I would have got it on. Uh, the straps are adjustable. I probably have to go stra um, like a strapless bra with this because the straps are so thin. I don't think it looks particularly good with the straps there. Um, it's, it's very nicely made, very unusual. You'd need an event to wear this. And I don't know where I'd wear it, maybe on a cruise or something. I think it could look really, really nice. It's super chic. I think it's, yeah, super unusual. Hmm. What do you guys think of it? I think with some like statement jewelry um, and shoes on, I think it would look really fab. And obviously like different makeup. Makeup that's not sweating off my, I look a wreck guys. I'm so sorry. I look absolutely awful. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my God. I'm sorry about that guys, but I think this is cute. <laughs> So guys, that was the end of today's video. Let me know uh, what you thought of everything down below in the comments. And if you got this far, I want you to tell me your favorite summer track, your favorite song that encompasses the summer. Um, there's a Glass Animals song. Um, I, can't, I think it might even called like Heat Wave or something. It's very like bassy, but like low bass. It sounds like it's been a really hot day and it's starting to cool down in the evening and you've all been out at the park drinking or having like a picnic or something so you're all a little bit like spacey <laughs> but you've had such a good day and it's just that like vibes as the day starts to wind down starts to get a bit cooler oh i love that song so much it reminds me so much of of like recent summers um it is still very warm i'm sweating a bit now Ooh, let me touch that up but let me know your favorite summer song down below um, and if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye